Hi folks, it's Joe here, Scott Country International. Uh, just coming to tune in with you guys today to talk about a new product which I've been sent down just to have a little look at. Inside this pouch is the Hick Micro Condor CQ50L 2.0. Uh, this is the second device, or the first device of the two, um, from the new handed era uh, devices that they're bringing out. That's what they're calling it. Uh, I'll explain a little bit why in a minute. So you can see it comes with a nice handy pouch as well, a bit like the Habrox, the Pros. So that's just a nice little feature, a nice little added benefit. And inside here, I'm just going to show you up to the camera. This is the new device. It's got a beautiful lens on the front of it. Really nice 50mm lens in this model. There is a 35mm model as well, the 35L. A uh, couple of different things you just noticed straight off the bat. So like I said, the one-handed era. So here you've got the adjustable focus. So rather than having to change the lens at the front and having to use a second hand, the whole thing can now be done with one hand. And it is very good. Um, it's, it's not too touch sensitive. But once you get on to using it, you can very easily find that really, really clear, good image. Uh, and I like it so far from what I've seen anyway. Uh, so the power button as well, been moved to the side here, just to have a little less interference with other uh, buttons and too many other things going on. So it's just a really good quality, really nice feel uh, device again from Hick Micro, the Condor CQ50L 2.0. So I'll just run you down through some of the specifications within the model and the unit itself. So it's, the thermal is 640 by 512, 12 micron, that's the sensor. It's sub 15 millikelvin net D, and it has a detection range on the CQ50L at least anyway of 2,600 meters. So really good quality, um, you know, these modern thermals that are coming out now really are getting spectacularly good. Sub 15 millikelvin net D, really, really good for temperature sensitivity and for clarity and getting a nice clear image of what animal or whatever it is that you're looking at. Uh, in the rear here, so we've got a 1920 by 1080 HD OLED display. You have an option within the functions and the menu to change it from a square, a square image, or have a round image, which I think is quite nice. Again, other people will have different preferences, so it's nice to have the option to change it up and have a look for yourself. The um, built-in HSIS, so that's the Hick Micro. Uh, shutterless image system is in this one as well so that's meaning that you're not getting any of that freeze frame uh, which you might have got in some of the older devices you've used so you're always going to get super clear clarity without any interference which is ideal uh, built-in laser range finder 1000 meters so again that's going to be very accurate and 1000 meters is obviously improved from the 600s and whatever it was that we were using previously uh, we said about the focus wheel already, and it's got what you would have had in the other previous uh, models with the Image Pro 2.0 and the Zoom Pro 2.0 as well. Again, super clear, you're going to range out, you're going to be able to find the animal, you're going to be able to zoom in without any loss of clarity, and you're going to get a good image. So I think this is a super offering. Um, come over to the British Shooting Show, uh, that's on the 14th, 15th, 16th of February. Uh, Scott Country are going to be on stand C5. Uh, next to Hick Micro on B5. So come on the day, have a little look at this, get a look at the Abrox, the, the HX60s as well, the Pros and the 50s. Have a look at some of the other products that are on the range as well, the new Falcon 2.0. Uh, make sure you get your hands on those uh, and just have a look at General and, and see some of the other manufacturers and what we've got there. Uh, I'm going to take this now, head on out to a local deer park uh, with a friend of mine, uh, go and do a little bit of filming, go find some reds and maybe a fallow or two and uh, see if I can get some really good, steady, stable images so you guys can see what this device is up to. Okay guys, thanks again. See you soon. Cheers.